Hey guys, I am back. I have figured out which quest it is that I want to do. Is Rich not showing up? Almost there. And that's not annoying or anything. We are going to do the tower full of mice. This seems like the best option at this point. There we go. Alright, take helm. Alright. Oh, I gotta go this way. Carol, can you hear me? How close is it? Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. You're what? <laughs> Okay. My feminine intuition. Wonderful. <laughs> Cause that's never steered me wrong before. Geralt? Are you on the aisle yet? Does the Xenobox work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. Great, broke already. Sheesh, short lived this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. And away we go. And away we go. Oh, I guess I need to... Wait, is it on here? Yes, it is. What now, you Get fucked. Get fucked. What's down here? Ooh, treasure. X Men's treasures. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You bitches! Don't try to come up behind me and kill me. Black Shack dead. Oop, wrong button. There's a lot of nasty on this little island. Gotcha. <laughs> Cut both of y'all. Stupid fucker. Get fucked. Crap, crap, up your butt, and you're dead. Alright, there's another one.
You're fucked. Let's go, bitch. Gotcha. You know, you guys aren't that all, all that hard whenever you're not, uh, fucking 35 levels above me. Looking for ghosts. Looking for ghosts. Gonna find some ghosts. Cause why the hell not? Looking for some ghosts. No ghosts in here. About in y'all. Well, maybe if the door wasn't blocked off. Alrighty. Let's let's keep this up. Let's try Kira's lamp. They're on to us. Oh shit. They're on to us. They're not letting Graham in. Quiet. Shit. I fucked it up. They're on to us. They're not letting Graham in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Oh, there's another guy. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> With no notion we's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! So they didn't really agree with him too much. Oh, fuck, it's a water hag. Ow, bitch. Ow, whore. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you guys. Oop, wrong button. Boop. I could have swore I just saw a treasure chest somewhere. Enhanced insectoid oil. Ah, oh, there's some. Enhanced hangman's something or another. Alright, let's go run around here and see if we can't find any more ghost to ghost. Ghost to ghost. I don't see any more ghosts. Oh, fuck, that's not what I wanted to do again. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. There'd be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! They were fucking mad for something. Place is full of rats, as many dead as alive. Think they're feeding on. Don't Geralt stop. You needn't be so detailed. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Blood. Many must have died here. 
Yeah, I would assume so. Okay, can you fucking not? Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, that stench! All the loot! All the loot! Stop it. I didn't ask you to start swinging around like a fucking dick face. Man. A green light, the swinging chandelier. This place gives me the fucking heebie jeebies. Start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants. They're through the door in the tower. Suit of armor. Looks like I had a hole blown through it. Getting anything? And I'll fuck you. Hey. with her. Gold! Piles of it! Oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show... Gold! Piles of it! Oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Uh uh, bitch. Don't you fucking dare start going out on me. this place be any fucking creepier? Like, holy shit. Where are you? Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. something across the floor or dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly uh. 
There we go. Jesus, that thing scared the shit out of me just now. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Uh, let's do this one very carefully. Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who Tower. lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. All right, have to be very, very careful about not pissing off the spectral ghost thingy. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell? What it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. Uh... All over me, like insects. Oh, my no. face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. Oh my god. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place?
Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him, recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Don't piss the ghost off. Girl, I help you? holy shit. A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the aisle. Uh, let's find out more about Graham. Your beloved. Who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected. Strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. Mm. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Ah, uh, fucking course. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Uh, I don't think really so. Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I really don't trust her for some reason. I have a very sneaky suspicion that there's something going on. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. Yeah. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. Oh, mother fucker.
stuff we got. What is this? Die. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. What do we have here? Potion vial. Oh, what is this? Okay, day 237. It's the uh, Mage Alexander's Log Part 1. <clears throat> My experiments continue to return, return results. I must consider unreliable. Method, methodological errors are not at fault. The problem lies with the shoddy, fallible research material I'm forced to work with despite his prior assurance Vesserad is unable to provide me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my test. Most of the material is starved and terrified. Having been dragged here straight from the dungeon, I, I waste a great deal of time daily washing and delousing them before I will so much as let them step foot into my lab laboratory. Ster sterility first. As Marty Sodergren managed to prove in her little known work, the attitude of a patient undergoing treatment can have a significant impact on the battle against disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with which I am supplied do not show sufficient comprehension, let alone enthusiasm, for the noble work in which they are taking part. In fact, it seems they could consider the research part of their punishment. I have tried a few times, though. I am, a, I am but a poor speaker. To convince them that they are contributing to eradicating one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had the distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely the result of early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning. That is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Yeah, I'm sure it is, buddy. Log part two. I never did like rats, not because of their obscene tales, but rather the account of their lively, disturbing intelligence. They are always listening when a man believes he is talking to only himself, and what's worse, they seem to understand. A few days ago, I caught myself talking to one of them, to a particularly large black male with a torn off ear. At first, I was overcome by panic. Was this the first manis manifestation of the illness? Of course, that was impossible, for I had fortified my immuni immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was all—it was an altogether natural reflex, one even the most learned, learned among us find hard to restrain. We may just like to be listened to. I placed the black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the test. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at the cages of its infected brethren, particularly those in the last stations of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none besides the black rat. I cannot hope for a better. I cannot and cannot hope for a better. Masarad avoids the laboratory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well. At first, I thought he feared a moral scandal, scandal, which would, which would be a, would be. Risible, risable. In the extreme. But he explained the true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile, psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasants. Taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. It does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman, but as for her, I try to limit my contact. <clears throat> my black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. I suspected that he had become infected on accident. But during the autopsy, I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained. Something which, I must admit, irritates the scholar in me. 
But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. if we go up. These people seem like they're... Oh, I found relic oil. Please don't fall, girl. Please don't fall. Oh, she doesn't like the fact that I'm killing her rats. She kind of dislikes that now, doesn't she? It's fine. I just have to kill a bunch more of them then. Get barbecued, bitch. Ooh, treasure chest. Oh, nothing over there. Where are these little bastards keep coming from? Sorry, I'm kind of taking my time going through here. I really don't want this bitch getting the upper hand of me. Dumb slut. Uh, there. Let's 
go. What was that? It sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her sword in hand? <laughs> yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Okay. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. All right. Find the fisher guy. Yourself. Try to win them all. You get that booty if you're not careful. You thought to just leave me be. Why have you been following me? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the isle. Talks to no soul. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. And this be the witch. Oh. Man. Ouch. Get the fuck out of the way. I want to talk. For you death, damn it. I told you. Who are you? I'm a witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. It's our bitch. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? Oi, something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that uh -huh. the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... <clears throat> I saw no <clears throat> chance in it for Annabelle and me to flee. But it all spun in a chaos. Good job. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. Oh no. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means, is she, you said you spoke Why to is there a noose in the back room? By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses and rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was a the whole time, but can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. All right. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. 
One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Uh... Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. The power of Just love. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Yeah, we'll see about that. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ow, ow, whore. Get fucked. I've waited long enough for revenge. And now he comes. Last I came through here, I still hoped Annabelle and me it weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. You can't change the past. But you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Yeah, that's... Don't think about that. Keep walking. Get out of my way. Wait a minute. I've got potions. Cursed. For cursed ones. Which one would. Oh, no. No. Spectres. Spectre, Spectre. Alright. Let's see. Elementary oil. Insect oil. Spectre oil. Vampire oil. Hybrid oil. White honey. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. We'll go ahead and make that. Alimentia oil, beast oil. All right, inventory, uh, specter. There we go. Oh, something's eating my foot. Ouch. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now I got Spectre Oil. This ought to hurt those bastards. Anybody else want to come out and fucking play peekaboo? Promise it'll be the last time you do it. Oh, I need to change. There we go. Please don't. Don't kiss the peta or whatever. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is is that? <laughs> it's me, Annabelle. Yeah, that the thing's gonna abandoned. stick its tongue Remember? down your throat, dude. I was sure you. 
was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. How? Kiss me. Graham, careful. This isn't going to end well. What the fuck just happened? She just killed him. At last. What in the fuck just happened? The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. Stairs and shit. Let's go down to the basement and see if we can see anything. Where's the basement at? Is it in here? No, I'm gonna start over here. Same stuff. It's kind of all the same stuff. There's nothing here. Well, fuck. I just killed a semi innocent man. Oops. Well, I told him to be careful. Sorry, dude. I I tried to warn you. I really, really did. Come on, Roach. Or not? Are you coming? What the hell was that? Go. Stop being a twat. Well, that's not exactly how I wanted to do things. Oh, which fucking drum. Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isles free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? 
Did you mention there was a pester involved? A pester. He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the eye's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. Bye bye. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps. Perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Okay. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? Fine. If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbell. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. You've given me some pretty cool items thus far, so... Ask a service of the Witcher, the Palamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell uh, me. Okay. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Oh, all right. Fine. Seems like you could use a Witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse the Pella new. You help me out, the time's so come I'll to help gather you the out. Across the lake we must journey to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. <sighs> Give us a rest. Do not tempt me. Oh, that's not a roach. No. Nope. Be one of the barons, man, are you? No, I'm worse. All right. Where's where is Falk Isle? Falk. Fike. You know, you figured since I've been here like 80 gajillion times by now, I would have the name pretty well fucking down. Push just nope, nothing in it. Run, 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 run. Look, there's lots of boats here. Boat, 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 boat. Lots of little low boats. Mob. Wind's howling. Mob. What is this not? When you greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Huh? Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Okay. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. Alright, I will try my best. What is this life? Well, you know. 
What comes next once life subsides? Mine is all the fate that decides. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they're hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? The storm we'll prepare to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. He who wander on the gale, ever caught in this world's fall, see this sign, gentle pale. Ye Right there. Got the drowned guys. Hark! A sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. What the hell is that? Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? Nice. Is it his son? I've come for you, Patricide. Patricide is father murder. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy! Help me! Yeah, I don't like Leave them. Now. You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take you! And disperse the others. Y'all are gonna hurt. Good folks, leave not these grounds. He cannot break the circle. Oh. 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 Bitch. It is an ill turn. Ill. Woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. What are you thinking? The bloodshed, it do any harm? Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. Do it. If you want to continue, I'm ready. You're stupid. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. Something whispers, something peeps, someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is all is in the This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run! Ow, whore. Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambrose, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. 
Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Oh, Fine. Of course. I'll find his body, see what I can do. Everything's in the fucking swamp. Stupid witch hunters. Just couldn't fucking leave well enough alone, could y'all? <sighs> Ruined the whole ritual. Tainted it. Drove off the wraith for the peddlers. Or pillars. Uh, father. Like, really? Alright. So, we're going to head to... Ooh, fuck. I don't have anything located over there. We'll take a boat ride. You guys can join me on a boat ride before I end the episode. We'll figure out how well this works. I have never been on an extended boat ride trip. So, here we go. Take the helm, Geralt. Swimmy, swimmy, off we go. Or floaty, floaty, I guess. Huh, that is very interesting. The fact that the Pilar son is, uh, the Pillar's son is, or he, the Pillar's father, rather, because he is the, um, the son, so he killed his dad, which is a little, under what the fuck is up on that hill? Could you not look any more creepy? Is like holy crap. Y'all see that right next to the boat thing? Oop, right there. There that is. That is creepy as hell. This boat ride's not too bad. Oop, wrong button. Let's see, world map. Where am I going? Uh, all the way across. Okay. There be a treasure chest there. Dive, dive. Mastercrafted saddle. Sweet. Sorry, girl. Oh, no, damn it. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we can get back in the boat easy enough. Now we're just gonna. F no, no, no! Motherfucker, I keep hitting the wrong damn button. All right, let's try this again. Take the helm. All right, and go. Geralt's got some pretty good lungs if he can just blow into the sails and it just froofs open like that. seeing some herbs and what's likely some drowners this is pretty cool yeah, this winter witcher sense is you can see from a pretty good distance off Go away. Stay down there. What the fuck is that? That's probably a bad guy.
Alright, let's check the map. How close am I? Oh, I can go straight around this little bog right here. Oh, found a monster nest. I'll go around here. Oh, there's a little area right in here. There. I'll just back the boat in. There we go. Rot things. Who oh, shit? Thought he was gonna explode all over me. Swamps kept Ambrose's body in good shape. Oh damn, found mm. him already. Even where the pillar smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Okay. Is that pretty much it? There's some kind of hook right there. What is this? You stay clear of that fog if you value your life. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, careful, sir. A monster prowls the bog. Enter the mist and you'll never see home again. I can help for a fee. I can help for a fee. Of course. Why, even an ox don't pull a plow for free. All right. I'm afraid I'll need more than an ox needs. How much are you willing to pay exactly? Uh, let's bump it up. Let's try to get 300 out of him. That seems kind of fair. That I simply do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy you? Alright, let's... Let's try 290. Nope, that 290 I didn't work. do not have. Would a few crowns less satisfy you? Alright, fine, we'll do 285. That I simply do <sighs> not have. Fine, we'll do 280. That I simply do not have. Oh my god. Fine, we'll do it for 270. Shit. Oh, master, you value your... Alright. Alright. Start south of here. South. I know what's killing people in the fog. Okay, if I remember right... Yeah, R would be the best thing for this. Probably gonna be a foglet. Bitch. An illusion. Different claw marks. Guess a few individuals feed here. Strange. Tracks around the corpses. Now there is. Tracks masked with magic. This is getting interesting. Ooh, please don't head towards the giant creepy thing. No ordinary fog it is. The odor. Metallic almost. Loot all the things. Did I miss anything? Yes, I did. Loot! Didn't even have time to pull out his weapon. Monster must have been concealed. Surprised him. Guess I'm dealing with an old foglet hiding behind an illusion. Uh, 
Bingo, found it. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Ow, four. Put your damn head. Ah, masters are strong. Must be the fog. Oh shit. Well, this episode's running long. Joe head off. Stab in the face. Is it? No treasure? So you're going to tell me. So I did all of that. And there is not a single treasure to be had. I don't buy that. Collect the reward for this foglet. Those things. Been chewing on a few different people. Oh, that's cool. It's not that far away. Do, 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 do. Just keep running, just keep running. All right, give me my 200 bucks, Any bitch. Tidings? Monster's dead, fog's dispersed. Ha! Village folk will be content. Give them cause to celebrate. Well, you've earned your reward. Take it and fare you well. Hang on a Thank minute. Thank you. This is less than we agreed. What? Master Witcher, that beast, it kept me from gathering peat. And I'd still me family to feed. But a few crowns left now, and I've yet to buy new tools. Show some mercy. 
I'll pay ye, I will. Pay ye twice the fee, but in a week's time, once I've made up some of me losses. Fine. Fine. So be it. But you remember that I will remember. You won't get out of paying this. Thank you, Witcher. Thank you kindly, my lord. My little bless ye. May ye be fruitful and... Get to work. You've only got a week. <sighs> Damn cheap ass motherfucker. He ain't gonna be here. He's gonna be eaten. That's what's gonna happen. Alright. So. Quest. Uh, nope, no. Secondary quest. Um. Nope, main quest. Let's try this, but just got like a. Where the hell is. What's this fuck? Okay, so we're going to go talk to Pilar on the next episode. This is getting interesting, isn't it, guys? So I will see you guys on the next one. And do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification thing. And let me know what y'all would like to see Geralt do next for the less than 10 people that watch this show. <laughs> See you guys later.